Hi, this is Bria Pagliaro. And this is Kara Olinger. And, and we're, we're reviewing Shepard Software Cell Games. One of the things I like about this program is that it has both types of cells, prokaryote and eukaryote. Let's take a look at the animal cell. The first part is a tutorial. Students can hover their cursor over an organelle and read about its function, or they can click on the name of an organelle and see it light up on the drawing. This is a free web-based resource, and I like how user-friendly it is for teachers and students. I love the animations, and I think that my seventh graders would really enjoy it. Once students have studied the tutorial, they can play a game matching the names of organelles to the illustration. It is as simple as drag and drop. When they match the names and structures correctly, the organelles light up and animate. I like how this contextualizes the information for students. After students learn organelle names and functions with the tutorial and the game, they can take a quiz to test their knowledge. The quiz gives you the function in the upper right hand corner and you click on the organelle or its name. If you've chosen correctly, you get a message that says great and you can click the arrow to move to the next question. There is a running tally of your score in the upper right hand corner. This game covers four out of the six Cell Biology California State Science Standards for seventh grade. All of the information presented is accurate, reliable, and up-to-date, and it is presented in a way that supports student content mastery. Although it doesn't directly address the topic of mitosis, I like that it shows a simplified cell division when you get all 10 quiz questions correct. Let's look next at the plant cell. There is a tutorial and a game, but unfortunately there is no quiz. The Plant cell game works by drag and drop, just like the animal cell. If you incorrectly match a name and an organelle, it, the name just jumps back to the starting point. One thing I don't like are the ads. Each page has a banner ad at the top and another ad below the game. Let's look at the bacterial cell. Again, like the plant cell and the animal cell, there is a tutorial and a game. However, unlike the animal cell, there is no quiz. Unfortunately, this ELR does not provide the teacher or the student with any type of real assessment. Although it does introduce a lot of appropriate academic language, it does not mention the words prokaryote or eukaryote, which I think is an unfortunate oversight. Overall, the site is appealing and engaging for students. 